happy monday everyone from inside your house um today we're talking about some really dope manifestation techniques that i think are game changers and i would like to share with you so honestly let's just get into it so the first concept that i think has been a game changer for me has been the japanese concept of ikigai basically you are balancing your life with a few aspects that help you get to that path so graphic here i'm looking at my <laughs> reference material so the first sections of the ikigai which consist of four circles and in the center is that ikigai so those four sections within those four circles are passion mission profession and vocation that is where the first structure happens essentially and within these categories there is an intersection between each one and this is to help you find your path essentially so those sections are going to be what you love what are you good at what can you do that you can get paid for and the fourth and to me most important what the world needs so with this concept those four things are what you should be focusing on what do you love you need to be passionate about something anything honestly i mean it could be a number of things too some people have you know um a range of things they love to do but find the one that you're like man this is my jam you know what i'm talking about like this is this is like this is life an example for me would be plants like that is life and essentially with my icky guy essentially i would like to incorporate nature and technology and find a way for them to coexist and Basically, I dream of a solar punk nation, you know, a solar punk world where there's just plants everywhere and oxygen levels are at optimum levels and we still have technology, but it's not being wasteful and destroying the planet. It's doing the opposite. So there's an example. Um, so then you need to incorporate that with what you're good at. So. Find something that you can put passion and profession together. That is that is the first little piece of the puzzle. What you love, what you're good at. Passion and profession. Then that's going to intersect into the next two, profession and vocation. And that makes up what can you be paid for? This is where you really find yourself and hone your skills. And right now we're stuck at home. So right now is a perfect time to really hone your skills and look within yourself and find what you love, what you're good at and what you can get paid for. And to complete the last section of the circle, which would be vocation and mission together is what the world needs we should be living in a world where skills and professions are beneficial to the planet beneficial to the community beneficial to the people around you um you know i think that it's certainly possible one day to have a solar punk society you know and that's just my example you know that is my personal example but you know i think that this is such a healthy way to come about finding yourself especially when you're stuck in a place to me this is the perfect balance you know um when you have parts of this and you're lacking in certain parts you know it's not going to be the ideal reality you want you want the entire set it's extremely important that you have the entire set and it might take years to get there but it's absolutely worth it and i think when, if everyone finds their ikigai, I certainly think that it would just make the world a better place in general. So this particular method of manifestation is something that I apply to my life. <laughs> um, as you all know, I, I am a gamer. Um, I've been playing video games since I was like seven-ish. 
I don't even remember. Okay, that whatever year PlayStation came out, actually, I'm ugh, fact check after I edit this video. <laughs> um, so to me, gaming is an excellent method of manifestation. Uh, as you all know, if you've seen my streams, I play Grand Theft Auto V <laughs> still to this day because it's first of all it's chaotic and I love that, but essentially rockstar really really did a good job at merging la together in one map but the detail to the npcs the streets just the ads the tv like just all of the satire in that game really encapsulates what los angeles is really like in my opinion los angeles is really like grand theft auto 5 it's the la sims essentially so when i play this game i mean a lot of the times when i go out and do stuff it reflects what i've already seen in gta what i've been doing in gta um one of my previous jobs was in the cannabis industry and i've worked in the cannabis industry for about six years and a lot of the times the work that i would be doing felt like motorcycle club weed farm missions like literally to the t um so and also I, I use Grand Theft Auto as a good way to manifest money. I expect if I do a job on GTA and I'm getting paid, then I'm doing jobs in LA and getting paid, you know? And I've done a lot of cool jobs. I've done a lot of cool jobs throughout the years. Um, but I would like to, you know, at some point make some more GTA money, add some more commas, you know what I'm saying? So that's definitely a good way to manifest. If you live in LA and you play video games and you like GTA 5, Try it out. I mean, you know, right now we're in quarantine, so I'm out here having virtual parties with my friends at our clubs anyway. So, you know, but when we're able to go back outside, I'm trying to hit up a magic party and just chill by the pool or whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so a second way that I would recommend <laughs> manifesting is actually just playing The Sims. Just play The Sims, like make yourself, make the house that you want and make your sim be successful and then expect those results in this outer reality that we're in in this shell think of it like that i mean you know what i'm saying like that's that's pretty much how i approach life and instead of really thinking of money as this like crazy necessity i try to think of money as points so whatever i'm doing if i'm making points then you know that's me racking up money you know um honestly a lot of times when you when you have bad days, you're gonna focus on the lack and focus on the fact that your reality is not matching what you got going on in here, in your vision. And I think that it's certainly okay to acknowledge that, but it's not okay to focus on that lack that it's gotten you out of a good vibrational state. Like you feel off, You that'll be days you're sad, you're angry just you know any or both you know any any moods around those categories those those will put you in a low vibrational place obviously so some days you're just gonna have it you know to me sometimes if i get overwhelmed with emotions and i'm frustrated with the project or whatever it is i'm working on or the circumstances around me um sometimes it's okay to purge it's okay to purge you know, sometimes you might need to cry or scream in a pillow or something, but find healthy ways to rotate your mood to a positive aspect where you're looking for solutions. But if you do not have the ability to get there on that particular day, you shouldn't be hard on yourself for it either. It happens, um, we're all human. And we all, we all just want to manifest happiness, you know? So, that's okay. I mean, I think that's a positive reminder here. I see a lot of times there's information that's just like, you just, you must be positive and you can't force positivity. You can't, but you can acknowledge in this moment right now, I don't feel good and I need to simply purge these feelings and then move on and direct my focus on solutions and not problems. Um, so, uh, so they pretty much gaming could be, I guess, uh, under the category of scripting, the actual 
manifestation technique of scripting. Scripting would be you writing your own story, pretty much. Uh, also, if you're a horror movie fan or you like horror anthologies, I recommend this one particular episode that was on the show Bloodline on Netflix because it had to do with scripting, pretty much. You're writing your own story. You are your own character in a story. And if you notice when you watch movies, a lot of the times the character goes through turmoil and you, they don't know what's coming, but you've already seen the film before and you know that they're gonna be good. You have to think about it like that too, when the circumstances aren't matching your expectations, you know? Uh, so you could write, you could write, you could just narrate a story in your head. You could, there is really infinite ways to script. It's just a matter of you picking your medium, but you know, you can, you can tell your story however way you see fit. I think the most important thing is to try your own methods also. You can use these methods, but use them to find your ikigai, you know? It wraps all back up together. And the last thing I do want to recommend is Neville Goddard. He is one of my favorite Law of Attraction uh, authors. And that's because I think that his manifestation techniques have worked for me better than um, a lot of other things. In particular, it's just knowing the end result. One of his biggest concepts is knowing the end result, knowing that I put this out to the universe which is a part of me, I am a part of the universe, and I expect the end result. I know it will be coming. You might not know when or how, but that's pretty, you know, irrelevant after the fact because the result at the end is what everyone is reaching for. Um, so two of his books, definitely The Power of Awareness and The Feeling is a Secret. I definitely love those books. Those are, you know, I go back to them all the time. So that, that is one author I highly recommend. Um, so that pretty much concludes today's video. I do want to cover more manifestation techniques as I continue to experiment because I'm pretty much always experimenting with just fun ways to manifest. Also, if anyone has any requests for certain manifestation techniques or anything else they want me to talk about you know where to find me on tumblr i have an ask that is open and ready to go so yeah this week i'll be streaming and i will probably do another video but it will be related to a money making technique so thanks for coming i have finger guns every time <laughs>